Okay, I know we've talked about the He Gets Us campaign on this show a couple of times already, but holy fuck, yo, they're doing Super Bowl commercials. The very definition of extravagant marketing. Budweiser, Pepsi, Toyota, Jesus of Nazareth. Circle the one that doesn't belong. Now, don't get me wrong. I I kind of appreciate the bold admission that Jesus is just a commodity to be packaged and sold. Right? I mean, nothing that we ever do on this show is going to dampen the sanctity of Christianity like wedging it in between an ad for light beer and one for digital bookies. But it's hard not to dwell on the amount of money. Super Bowl advertising is famously expensive. And when Pringles or m M&M and spends eight figures on one of these things, there's at least the possibility that they're going to recoup the cost with additional sales of potato chips or conservative outrage. But they're not going to up the sales of Jesus. Right, the reported $20 million that their donors have invested in this is 100% loss. Of course, of all the ways I've seen Christianity spend its millions, this is nowhere near the worst, right? That, that price almost certainly goes to quieting child rape victims with Kevin Sorbo's career coming in a strong second. But it's still a staggering amount of money. A staggering amount of money, by the way, that almost couldn't help but go to something more productive and less damaging if it were entrusted to any random person. The campaign, again, is spending $20 million to buy two fucking ads with no more of a message than Jesus is pretty cool, yo. That's that's $20 million of the reported billion dollars that they intend to spend all together over a three year period. And we've talked about the substance of these dumbass ads already, so I don't want to belabor those points, but I do think it's worth reflecting on this colossal waste of money involved in it especially in light of the constant argument we hear about how religion inspires people to give to charity, right? It's one of those apologetics you get from the more educated set, atheist or otherwise, and it does have data to back it up. Religious people do tend to give more money to charity than their atheist counterparts. Now, there's a lot wrong with this argument, right? You can dismantle it from a dozen different directions, but few are going to be quite as visible as $20 million worth of primetime advertising, right? Because see, for every dollar of charity that religion inspires, you got to subtract away every dollar it encourages people to spend on absolutely nothing. Every time it helps trick people into giving their money to a faith healing charlatan, every time it encourages people to donate to worse than useless schemes like smuggling Bibles into North Korea, and every time it inspires anonymous donors, <coughs> Hobby Lobby, <coughs> to piss away $20 million on two 30-second ads in hope of reaching the what? The, 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 the fans of American football who haven't heard about this Jesus fella? I mean, think about that amount for a second, $20 million. Just imagine that somebody handed you a check for $20 million and they asked you to do the most possible good that you could with it. How many homeless people would you keep warm? How many hungry mouths would you feed? How many sick people would you provide with care? I mean, it would be a hard decision, no doubt. You'd probably stay up all night wondering where best to invest that money. Should it go to education, political activism? Should you split it up and donate to a thousand causes or just give a huge shot in the arm to one? And and sure, given the enormity of the task, you probably wouldn't get the exact right answer. But no matter where you landed, it almost could not physically be wronger than a TV commercial about how Jesus would probably have worn his baseball cap backwards if they'd had baseball caps back then. Look, if Jesus was truly the inspirational figure they're selling him as, he'd have inspired them to spend that money on something less stupid. In other words, if the product worked as advertised, the advertisement wouldn't be there. 